there's a phrase that you have um, that I think is really important for people to understand because it helps you to understand how price guides are mostly set. And now what what, what is that phrase? <laughs> Quote it low, watch it go. Quote it high, watch it die. This is so important <laughs> to understand because what, what Veronica is saying there is that if an, if an agent or a price guide is too high, then buyers aren't going to see value in the property. They're not going to say, oh, wow, this, this is better than anything else I've seen in this kind of price range. So they won't engage in the auction process. If it's mm. low enough that that house looks like exceptionally good opportunity, value and buying to a buyer, then they'll engage in the auction process. They'll actually bring themselves into that emotional process of preparing for and getting ready to bid for an auction. So what? So that that's so important because some buyers just add 10% to the price guide and, and think that that's yeah. what's going to get it. You actually have to understand the prices to see if the price guide actually represents what the property might actually sell for. Yeah, and look, this is a, a very good point you raised there. A lot of buyers, particularly they've been around for long enough, they go, oh, well, the legislation says, and, and usually 10% is, is, a, is a figure that is used in a lot of legislation in various forms. But in New South Wales, for instance, it's like the legislation says that the the if a if an agent puts a price guide on an agency agreement, that the that it have a range and the differential between the top of that range and the bottom of the range can't exceed 10%. So say, for instance, they put a million dollars to 1.1, 1. 1, you know, or 900 to 990 or 800 to 880 and so on. So so most buyers after a period of time, they sort of get to work out, oh, yes, all agents under quote. Um, oh, it looks like they all under quote 10%, right? The problem is that they don't all under quote to the same degree. And some make a habit of quoting as close as they can to where they really think it should sit, where, you know, they really think that the prices will get to. Others will deliberately quote even less. You know, I've got recently in a, in a hot market, I've had properties that have gone 50% over the guide, you know, 50%. And, and this is, so this is important because sometimes it's about the quoting range being wrong and that's called under quoting. Sometimes it's mm -hmm. about the market taking the price yes. well, well, well above what actually was a reasonable quoted range.